I'm gonna change out a peep sight here quick. And this is a great opportunity to tell you why I tie the peeps in the way that I tie them in. Uh, I'm sure you've seen the videos on how I do that. I actually do single over and unders. I'll do like a 22 to 24 stack. And I typically do those slightly away from the peep. Then I'll take a piece of D loop material. I'll wrap it around that and I'll actually slide that noose up to the peep. Then I make a single piece around my peep site. So it's in there just like that. There's tons of ways to tie in peeps. Listen, certainly certain ways are faster. Certain ways look cooler. There's been some, there's been some really cool different ways that people have come up with, you know, half hitching peeps into place. However, the one thing that I'm going to tell you about archery and about my experience with archery is the one thing that you can count on moving at some point is going to be your string because that's a synthetic material. It's coated with synthetic materials. It literally has the ability to expand and contract. It's going to react to different temperatures as the wax or the coating or the color comes out of the fibers that thing is going to change. If you ever have to redo a center serving, it's going to change. It's very common people get to an event, they've had their bow in the car, it's been hot for the first time, or it's been outside for the first time for full days, and next thing you know, they get to my target and they're pulling back and their buddies are having to do their peep for them. So the easy fix would be able to go down to the village and put one turn in the string, flip the peep around, and you're back on track, you know, where the peep is facing straight back to you with a well-built string. It should stay in that same position from front to back. However, even if it is a well-built string, if that thing stretched to where your peep is to the side, well, it's going to still be at the side when it goes forward or goes back. So in that case, you've got to add a twist. You might have to flip the peep. I tie mine this way simply because if I need to add a twist and then flip my peep, it is super easy to do and I don't really change much. Now in this case, I'm doing a peep exchange. So the same thing really applies. So let's say I go to an event, I need to do a peep change. And why would that happen? Sometimes I've gone to tournaments where the indoor lighting is horrible. The small peep that I had at home in my home range, I can't see through it. The whole target's dark and blurry. So I might have to bump up to a slightly larger peep site. In that case, I'm gonna have to just find a press, make a quick change. The way that I do it, this allows me to come right here, the way I tie these peeps in so that they don't shoot out. And this is a critical, critical safety protocol. Always have your peep totally tied in around um, so all I've got to do is take a razor blade and right here at the top edge of my peep is my knot right there. So I'm able to make a, a quick cut right there and I can pull that off and now I can extract my peep sight. Okay. So I can pull this peep right out and I can replace it with a slightly larger peep. Now, one thing that you'll notice on mine, I actually always make two black lines for the top edge and bottom edge of my peep. So that in this case, for this replacement, you can say I'm perfectly matched up with where I need to be. I can take that tension off. Okay, my peep still in a perfect position. And now to secure it in safety wise, I can do this simple tie, which is going to be to take your 3D D loop material or sorry, serving material, start at the top first. I'm going to make one tie just like this, and I'm going to tie that around that peep like this. I'll tie this bottom part, pull it tight. Again, that was a single tie. Now I'm going to come to the top. I'm going to tie a single tie again, make sure it's as tight as I possibly can do it. Then I'm going to tie it one more time again on the top, which would complete a square knot. And this now allows me to burn down this little tied piece safely. And my peep is secured. It's not going to eject out and hit anybody. God forbid a dry fire. Uh, you know, an arrow knock blowing up, anything like that. 
that peep sight will come out. And that thing is a projectile when it does. So you do want it tied in. But my way of tying in my peep sights takes a little bit more time. Honestly, looks a little bit more traditional, but the reality is this lets you do a, a string twist, a peep flip, or a peep exchange with literally the need of making one cut in a very safe place. You're literally cutting against the hard edge of the peep sight, so you're able to just cut that one knot right there. That comes off, you can do what you need to do. If I had to make one full turn in this string, and flip that peep around to the other side, I could have done that as well. So there's always a why behind the different little things that I do. That is why you see me tie the peeps in the way that I do and not use the fully half hitch tied in peep systems that you might see from others.